Okay, we've got a crimson on. That's because we are less than 24 hours till OU's football team kicks off their new season. For those of you going to the game and future home games, there are some new rules. Our Kaylee Bourgeois joins us live on Lindsay Street in Norman to break them down. Kaylee. Hey there. Well, if you're driving through town, driving into campus here, it won't be too bad. In fact, it'll go back to normal now that construction's over. But you will face some new challenges when you get here to the stadium gates. Major construction on Lindsay Street is over this year. For frequent Gaylord Memorial Stadium visitors, traffic and parking is going back to normal. Officers will be placed throughout Lindsay Street, which will be one way outside the stadium before and after the game. But don't get too comfortable with the lack of construction off Lindsay and 35. You'll want to leave early for kickoff tomorrow to get through the gates. We're actually opening up gates two hours prior to kickoff for the general public this year as opposed to the the former 90 minutes. The stadium rolled out an entirely new entrance policy this year. The metal detector process could slow things down a little bit, especially the first couple games while fans get accustomed. Along with metal detectors at each gate, all large bags brought into the stadium must be clear and no larger than 12 by 12 inches. This is an example of a stadium friendly bag. You can, fans can purchase these at, uh, you know, most local retailers that sell OU merchandise. If you're not splurging on a fancy clear bag, we will also allow one gallon size clear plastic freezer bags. Um, and we'll also have those available at the gates if fans forget them. We also allow non-transparent uh, clutch purses if they are four and a half inches by six and a half inches or smaller. The athletics department says these changes are for safety's sake. And of course, kickoff kickoff is at 11 tomorrow and the athletics department says if you can, it's best just not to bring a bag. But if you must again, follow those rules on the scene on the story at OU, Kaylee Bourgeois, News 9.